M0 FXP, welcome back to the channel. This is the UV K5 99 in brackets. I got it because I really like the uh, the red and black. Okay, would have been nice if they added a a black button, but anyway. So I just thought I'd just remind myself, refresh myself, because this is a Quashang Quashang firmware, not Exuma, not IJV. Just this is how it comes when you get it from the factory. Turn it on, and there it is. There the quickly see the firmware number OSFW and you've got this long string of numbers okay so yeah I, I quickly did add a memory channel just using the the usual programming cable just the UVK5 one that you get for a fiver and I'll put a link into the the software that I I use to to read and that but you can do it on the radio but I just thought I'd show you some of the basics here so we're in memory mode now CM001 and we're on the B band to go to the a band see this button here just look that's a quick way to the a band a and b also to go into vfo mode just press f then three you're in vfo you can now type frequencies like so to turn on the radio just go f then zero that's the radio you can type a frequency Go like so. There you are. And it, the speaker on this is really good. It sounds great. You've got an LED at the top as well and a torch. There are programmable buttons. Of course, that's the PTT. So if we go F and zero, it takes us out of the radio mode. And then you can change what the function buttons do. I'll just show you what they're doing now. It's long and short press. So if I just press it once, it turns on the torch. That's the bottom one. And it flash. If I hold it, did that. Did the same thing. The one under the PTT. That sounds like it's squelch off. Look, we're actually in AM mode there. If I go one, three, three, eight, five, zero, you never know. We might pick something up because I, I haven't actually tested this one yet um, in the AM mode, but I know they sound okay. It's a quite sharp AM, and with other firmware, you can make the AM sound better. But I've noticed that some people just they just prefer to keep the radio the way it was when they got it from the you know from the seller. Right, so we'll go F. Then two, it just takes you to A and B. With this firmware, you don't get single screen. We can go F, then one. We start to look at all the different bands. Now I went into menu. That's the M. I went down, well, let's go up from the bottom. The last menu is 49. You can, you can go in and add some extra menus. But look, A, M, go menu, and I turned it off. When it's on, then you can use AM, of course. That's menu 47. Exit on that. We've done the radio. Let's do the scope. So if we stay in VFO mode, and then we'll go F, then 5. And look, you start to get the band scope. And it does actually work quite well. See the dotted line? That's almost like a squelch. You can move it up and down. Look at that. We exit a minute with the exit button. Go four, three, four, and then five, five, zero. See if we get some activity. We go F five. See now it's sort of scanning. You can change the square by just moving that dotted line. You know. So let's see if I can. Uh, get it to, uh, There it goes. That's... It's good, isn't it? It just looks good. You can change the... In this mode, if you press the FM button, look, you go to USB. I like it, and to come out, exit, back into VFO mode, if you want to set your tone, 
Let's go menu. If you're on a high number, go backwards. There you are, back to one. There's squelch, step. Transmit CTCSS. There it is there. Menu, we want. Actually, that's receive. Leave that off. Go down one. Go menu, then down one. Menu, and then look, just change it to 77. Oh, that's DCS. Again, we don't want that. Uh, menu, down again. Now it's already done. And then you've got the shift direction if you want to do a repeater or not. And you set your shift direction. Look, so it'll be naught. Actually, on 77, it'd be 7. Offset, menu, be 7. So we're going to have to do naught first. Let's try offset, menu. Menu. 7. I should... So you see, you get two extra lines, so it's naught, naught seven, isn't it? So naught, naught seven, six hundred. There you are, and that would work if you turn that on. Our offset is off at the moment. Menu to save. Shift direction is off, so it's not going to affect it at the moment. So if you want air band, you would go one. Three three eight five zero, and look, it is automatically selecting air band. I put in a, another frequency to try and find twenty seven megahertz, and B band was already in dual watch, so I wanted you to see that we're now automatically monitoring the B band. So if you go menu, look for TDR. There it is. There. Okay, that's your dual watch. Let's back out. But you can see weather there as well. And ABR is basically your screen timeout. So we've got 60 seconds on this one. So that's menu 16 is your screen timeout. So I had one question. How do you scan 27 megahertz? So I might as well answer that now. So type in the frequency first, so you'll go 0, 2, 7, then 0, 0, okay. And then at the moment, we've turned on AM, so we've gone menu, then we've gone to menu, if you go up and down, to 47, menu, and then turn that on, menu again, exit. So, and then to scan, hold down the star. There you go, it's scanning, but it's AM. Now, if we just stop that a minute, let's exit. Uh, let's try this. If we go to F, then 5, we've got the, you know, the sort of spectrum scan, let's call it. And in this one is where we can actually select the USB, can't we? Let's make sure I press the right button. There it is, the AM, then USB. So effectively, we're scanning, and then you can bring down the squelch. Obviously, you need the right antenna as well, and there are some modifications, boards that you can buy. You know about that, that you can you know, install into one of these devices. So bring down the squelch. And then if I had a HF antenna, or CB antenna, now, will it do FM? Yeah, it does FM as well, so you can do CB. And I'm not even going to try and transmit on those bands. To change the sort of power level, you've got a H here on number 6. If we escape out, turn it down a minute, and just go F6, the power starts to change. See that low? F6, and it's a 5 watt radio. So you can change the power got frequency scan so if I just go F then 4 and grab one of my radios just got one here and key M0 FXB test 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 you see that it um, picked it up picks up the frequency it's not exactly right but it's pretty close and it gets the tone as well we exit you've got this other one where if you go let's have a go now hold down no go F then scan and then this one, it sort of stays on the frequency, but then it's, I'm pretty sure it's scanning for the CTCSS, but it stays on that one frequency. 
Like so, I mean, look at all these functions that you're getting from this budget device. Now, this one is reverse. So I believe that if I go to one, four, five, six hundred, that's GB3WR, and I go menu, add in the the shift. So there's the the tone on that one would be. Menu is 94.8 for that repeater menu. Then the shift would be menu. So we're down at number menu eight now. Eight minus select menu to accept offset menu. And then we're going to go uh, 0.600. So we go menu to do it. And then naught, naught, you have to put two naughts, six, not all the naughts. Menu, escape, technically, now uh, we've done something wrong there. <laughs> the minus shift doesn't look right, so we just do that again. So it's a shift offset, so we go menu, uh, offset, yeah, we need to put the six in another place, so we go zero, so we've got menu first, the arrow appears here when you're doing it, naught then six, okay, menu, then exit, one, two, test, test, and that's GB3WR, oh, oh no, it's picking up the B bank, it's in twin receive, I was going to say, we go menu to save, then go to one, you can type one, three, or go down to one, three, then select menu, and you can now, choose the channel to save it on so we'll put it on number two and then we'll go menu and then menu again if we now exit and then go back into memory mode by going f3 and then menu two should be saved but to name the channel if your name doesn't show go to ex go exit go menu two three and see it says name there, go menu, mine will show the name, but you can say channel and frequency. Or you can go name and frequency, which is pretty cool, let's do that, and then we'll exit. And now it's, you know, it's smaller text, but you get to see more information. There, look, GB3FI, that's probably the better one to use, I think, more information there. Okay, I'll end it there, I'm just going to do some firmware on my D75 that's just been released. Um, but, um, you know, you've got the Exuma, you've got IJV, they've got the KD8CEC, you've got modification boards. You know, to me, you don't buy one of these, you buy three of these. Uh, I, I reckon I might have six lying around because you're modifying one. On another one, you're using a different firmware. I do like the original firmware sometimes. Sometimes I just like to pick it up as it was when it was originally made by Quan Shang and... I actually had a company message me called uh, Burui uh, before I'd ever even heard of Quanshang when these were first made and they actually said to me they wanted it to compete with the UV5R, what they said at the time and who knew, you know, that the way these were going to take off. I think once the firmware modifications were enabled, I mean look what it does, you know, 27 megs, you just saw it there and the board, I think it will go right down to 15 megs, let's just quickly try it and then we'll end the video. We just exit, we we'll go into VFO, F3, and we'll start typing 0, 1, let's do 1, 4 megs, yeah. Oh, it does actually show it, yeah. Whether it receives on it is another matter, but it does actually allow me to do it if we go F5. Uh, that's only showing, let's have a look. Oh, no, 14 to 17, and then we can change the mode. So I'll definitely have to test that, won't I? I've got my HF rig here. Let's just quickly key, just quickly. Uh, we're on uh, USB, very low power. M0 FXB, test, test, test. And you can see that nothing showed up there at all. M0 FXB, test. Anyway, fun just trying, but yeah, that's why you have to fit the modification board. Uh, I believe that on the 27 megs, it, it will show something up. 
we just go exit and I'll grab one of my CBs. Let's do 27 megs first. So 0, 2, 7. Like so. AM. Just grab one, just quickly just testing really, but it's not doing much at the moment, but it's the wrong antenna. Bye for now, 7-3, all the best.